there are all kinds of weighting methods. Um, we've mentioned rim weighting, sample weighting, raking, iterative proportional fitting, propensity weighting, cell weighting, all different kinds of methods. What you need to remember is that all these weighting methods pretty much do the same thing. Sure, there's minor uh, differences in, in outcomes, and some have benefits over, over other techniques. But in general, I can assure you that the outcomes of all these different techniques are more or less the same. What's really important when you're considering weighting methods is actually what variables are you using to control for? So what variables are you waiting for? Um, many researchers go to the standard demographics of age, gender, income, household size. But one of the very important criteria in selecting your variables is to think about what demographic variables actually impact my dependent variable that I'm studying. So if you're studying attitudes or behavior towards a product or service, um, a very relevant variable is whether or not uh, the respondent has had a previous experience with this product or not. Was this person a client of this product of service? So you actually want to control for a variable like that, which is more relevant to your weight outcomes than maybe weighting towards uh, age or gender.